Well, the Drakensberg Boys Choir has started their performance in honor of former President Abombeki. Let's take you there live. Thank you very much. So the next song we're going to do for you is a song called um, uh, uh, Kena Yo Morena. Um, it is, uh, as far as I know, it means that we, our eyes are, you, are on you, Lord. Uh, so enjoy this with us. Maso Abonaki Maso So, Mr. President, we do a whole genre of music and um, which makes us very unique um, in the world. Actually, the Drakensberg Boys Choir, this is what we've been known for uh, for 55 years because that is how old our school is. And um, we can do basically any, any genre, not basically, we can do any genre of music which other boys choirs across the world, uh, I won't say they can't do it, but they don't do it. So uh, <laughs> this is this is what we love doing. So we're going to sing for you an Italian song now. It's called uh, the Echo Song, and um, it's Das Echo. And what it is, it is actually can be done with two choirs. It can be done with one choir and a quartet, uh, with with one soprano, one alto, one tenor, one bass. And that's what we're going to do today here. Um, we just had two wonderful concerts in the Johannes in the Joburg Theatre on Thursday and Friday. And what was wonderful is that we could go into a big venue like that and we could sell it out and we didn't have to wear masks. So, which was absolutely wonderful. And, um, and it just showed us again 
and with the attendance of the of the South African public, and there were even some international guests, uh, with the attendance of the South African public, that the Drakensberg Boys, Boys Choir, which is proudly South African, um, is still in demand, and people still like to see. So I'd just like to say to you that that the people still love the Drakensberg Boys Choir, continue so, and we are proudly South African always, with whatever we do, wherever, wherever we perform, because this is where we come from. And um, we're going to sing for you this Das Echo. It's a fun song. It's about a person who's, um, who's uh, playing around with his echo, uh, or her echo. And um, at the end it says, rest in pace, which means rest in peace and then basta, enough. Um, but I'm now honored to go and give the notes on your piano. Do you play the piano, Mr. President? <laughs> okay, okay, great. Now the next song we're going to sing for you is uh, it's a lovely like prayer, which um, is is it which was also done a couple of years ago um, with an orchestra. And and what was fascinating about this, it was one of these I can't remember now the it was a bank sort of like arena, a bank financial bank arena. It's in here in Joburg, and I can't remember the name. Sorry. Yes, that's the one. And, um, and um, I, I, that doesn't say who I bank with. Uh, but anyway, so, and, and it was wonderful because it was filled around with choirs, with the, um, with the symphony choir. And, and this is the great thing is that our, our music from, from, from Africa and South Africa, it's, it's going to be done in any way, which is great. But that's music in general. It's like you can do the pop music with orchestra, you can do a classical stuff pop wise in African. So that's the one wonderful thing about music because that's the only international language. And we're going to sing now for you, Masiti Amen. <laughs> Amen. See ya, good to me, sir. 
Right now, the next, the next piece has, uh, uh, needs no introduction. We're just going to start it. And we are so proud of this because in every concert program we do, this is our very last piece that we do. So the whole concert program can be different from one to the other. But whether we are in Johannesburg, whether we are in um, Pretoria, or Soweto, or Mamelodi, or doesn't matter where, uh, Germany, England, both other. Anyway, we end off with this song we're going to sing for you now. President, it's your 80th birthday, and may there be many, 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 many more. And um, I'm sure if he was here today, he would have said, My hot flag, <laughs> come right and back. I want to wish you a happy, happy 80th. May there be many more years for you to come. May you be blessed with good health and a good fortune. You are a very wonderful person and a great man. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Mr. President, from us, this is the song that we love to sing to people when it's their birthday, whether they're one year old, eight years old, it doesn't matter. It's for us. We do it from our hearts. And this is especially for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, two. One, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Do, do, do we smile? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Are we smiling? Yes, sir. Uh -uh, no, you're not smiling. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Down. Please. 
then I think what we do is we can spread out. So that's eight. I think that's a hard. I'm sure that's enough of the smiles. <laughs> Let me say, uh, is allowed? Yes, Absolutely, sir. Where do I stand? Here, there? Wherever you feel comfortable, Mr. Yeah. Uh, here. Let me say thanks a lot to the Dragonsberg Voice Choir. I, I really never ever imagined that uh, we would have an occasion like this. I, I know them very well but from CDs and things like that. And for the first time today, I, I meet them. And thanks, thanks a lot. You are indeed, uh, uh, I think th those of us who know anything about music would say this is one of our great prides. Uh, this, this boys choir is uh, really an excellent advertise about ourselves as South Africans. And then thanks a lot for this. Uh, we, we are in youth month. This is our month, your month, my month. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this thing about 80, don't worry about it. We are, we are all youth. But really, thanks a lot. We, uh, uh, I'm very, very glad indeed that we, we, could, we could do this. Uh, it's a great honor, very great honor to, to me. My wife, my wife is stuck in, a, in an international webinar. They are discussing women's development. So she apologizes that she can't, she can't come. But no, thanks a lot and thanks for coming and, and uh, best wishes for the future. What, what is of course very, very sad about, but our month, our youth month, is what happened just the other day in East London. The death of these young people, I don't know what they were doing in a tavern. Uh, and then the way they've died, I don't know how they've died. But it's really a very tragic event, and uh, I'm quite sure that all of us, and I mean all of us standing here, would want to say, convey our condolences to the parents and the relatives and so on, and, and hope that uh, everything will be done to find out what happened and then take whatever the consequences of that are. A very, very sad, a very sad day to, you know, as it comes towards the end of, of, of the youth month, um, but otherwise, thanks a lot for, for coming. And uh, I, I don't know what happens now, these days, with all of this modern technology. But the last thing I'd like to do, or I would have liked to do, is to market the Dragonsberg Boys Choir CDs. To say all of us, all of us must buy them. Uh, but now with this modern technology, I see that they are even seem to be doing away with cities. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, really, I think they are really worthy, worthy of a tribute, a real tribute. Uh, uh, and the performance this morning, the performance this morning, has certainly made the rest of my year, the rest of this year, I shan't forget this. But thanks a lot. Thank you, Mr. President. And, uh, Thank you thanks. so much. And thanks to everybody for coming. Good morning, Mr. President. Hi. My name is Mzo. Hello, Mzo. I come from Radio 702. Is that so? And uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Uh, Mr. President, we thought we wouldn't pass the opportunity um, of your illustrious, uh, I know you call it youth, uh, but we'll go with 80 for purposes <laughs> of uh, this presentation. And it's really a small gesture on, on behalf of 702 and on behalf of our family at Prime Media to say we acknowledge you walking your own talk for 80 years and may you continue walking this, this walk of yours. And I think you've espoused and inspired us as a business to be more than just a business. We see ourselves as, 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 as a player in society and mm. we, take up, we, take, we take after your values. So happy belated birthday. Uh, hope uh, you, put this, you find a nice spot in your, in your office for this frame. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, sir. I, I, I take the 702, I take it that this is not a bribe. 100%. <laughs> and it's on record. 
that it isn't a bribe. Exactly. <laughs> no, because they will say now, now what about an interview? <laughs> <laughs> well, we may, no, yet have, we may yet have to have that conversation. <laughs> but certainly not now. Thank you, Mr. President. No, thanks a lot. Yeah. You know, while we're still in exile, um, 702, many years ago, was one of our sources of news about South Africa. Because uh, we're quite certain that from 702 we'd get a more real picture about what was, what was happening in the country. Not as the SABC had uh, their own usual international. But uh, to listen to that was uh -uh, 702. <laughs> it really was very, very good. No, well, uh, thank you, Mr. Thanks. Thank you, okay. All right. Thanks, Chief. I, I noticed there's two bases here. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Desiree, there you have it, uh, the former president um, enjoying the music and I'm sure the boys are quite happy as we pointed out earlier on that uh, uh, he will be traveling to Lusaka on Wednesday, I think, uh, where he is expected to deliver the Kenneth Gaunda lecture on Thursday. And I think uh, the Gaunda foundation and the family chose former president because of his relationship with uh, Zambia. You know that uh, the governing party, the ANC, had offices in Lusaka, Zambia. That's where the former president of the ANC, O.R. Tambo, used to operate in the Sadek region. And of course, uh, people like former President Mbegi would then cross to countries such as Botswana, Mozambique, to do the work in the frontline state. And he has interacted with uh, former president or the late president Kenneth Kaunda many times. And we expect that uh, the lecture, as the CEO pointed out earlier on, will revolve around leadership on the continent at the time where there are real, real challenges. I mean, you know the issue of COVID-19 that led to the global challenges. And then later it was the issue of uh, war in Ukraine. And with the war in Ukraine, you know that uh, we are now talking about food security. He's now meeting more people who are visiting. Uh, I think uh, the camera can just just switch uh, to that side, uh, the president, former president meeting more people. I think a number of people uh, are waiting to, yeah, to take a picture, but also to wish him well as he is now eight years old, an old man, but uh, we are told by the foundation that uh, he will continue to do his work. And uh, as you can see, um, even uh, there's a hive of activity, people really uh, wanting to interact with him and uh, him putting time aside to ensure that he does engage with uh, ordinary people. Yeah. Thank you. And as you can see, they really do represent genuinely represent South Africa. Yes, thank you. In what they do, in what they, how they look and all of that. But thanks to the parents for giving them to the nation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. They took all our talent. <laughs> and this is the future president. Yes. <laughs> you, are my, you, should, you should become my successor. Are we agreed? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Are we are born again? <laughs> Absolutely agreed. Okay. Mr. President, how are you? I'm not doing interviews today. I know you are not, but Mr. President, you are a senior citizen of the continent. We have to speak to you. In Zambia, your trip to Zambia, what will be the focus of the lecture? There's huge interest. Well, you know, uh, President Kaunda, you remember, passed away uh, about a year ago. And so the Kenneth Kaunda Foundation, and I'm sure the, everybody else in Zambia, uh, decided to... Uh, decided to uh, uh, to mark the, 
the first centenary uh, of his passing away. And so uh, uh, they've asked me to deliver the first uh, Kenneth Kaunda lecture on the 30th. Uh, so we are going to Lusaka tomorrow. Uh, and the next day they have a symposium and then uh, and then we do this the, the lecture on uh, on on Thursday. Mr. Mr. President, just this one question: the President, Mr. Ramaphosa, today describes the state capture as the trial on our constitution. Your knowledge of the whole issue around how these kind of things can really damage the institution. What is your your view? Well, first of all, I must say that uh, I, I agree fully, absolutely, with uh, what the president, President Ramaphosa, said uh, ab about this. Uh, it's a it's a very, very, I think, challenging moment for all of us as South Africans because uh, the commission, uh, the, the Judge President, uh, uh, Chief Justice Zondo, uh, and his colleagues have produced a, re a really very detailed report about many things that are wrong in the country, whether it's institutions or the politics or whatever. <coughs> and I think it's, it's, it's a major, major challenge to the country to say, what do we do as South Africans with this identification of many, many of our problems? We, we have to respond. <coughs> Everybody has to respond. It's not only the state institutions like the police and the prosecutors and so on. But many, many questions that we must all answer. Uh, what happened? What happened <clears throat> that the South Africans were allowed this destruction to take place? Uh, we're all around some way in our society. So I think we all of us need then to say what is it that we do to make sure that this doesn't happen? How do we recover from this great, great tragedy? We're yeah. all around, and the ANC, which has prided itself as the leader of society over the years, all these things happened under its watch. Correct, correct. The ANC, ANC has got a particular responsibility. You are quite correct. Because the way you are talking about uh, uh, all of these terrible things happening as a, res as a result of misgovernance, uh, the ANC is, was the government. So it has got to take responsibility, look at itself, uh, and see what, what it does, what, what went wrong with it, the ANC, that this kind of thing could happen. Uh, so it has to do something about itself, and it's got to do something to really to try and redress uh, this great wrong that has been done to our society. And now the pala pala, Mr. President, there's no, also no. a pala pala it's issue. Okay. That's okay, Sister Sophie. No, that's no okay. but uh, with regard to that, uh, Sophie, mm. uh, the President Mapoza has said, uh, he, let's let's allow the the law to take its course, and I I sympathise with him, uh, so that indeed uh, I hope that uh, the the the, the, scope, the the hawks uh, now, as they say, they are investigating and all that. Uh, we'll move on the matter speedily because I'm quite certain from what I can see uh, the, the country is, is asking for many, many explanations, mm -hmm. explanations about many things. And I'm quite sure that that uh, uh, legal process will, will, will help us to provide these answers. Uh, and that's why I'm saying that I really do sympathize with the, with the position it took to say that let's let the truth come out via this particular route through these credible institutions of state. Um, I, I know, I know for a fact that uh, many, many people are, are posing questions, and and really, I'm hoping that uh, the the hawks, as I was saying, would move with some speed uh, to make sure that those sorts of questions are answered. Thank you so Thanks much, former that. president. Thanks. How are you, Mr. President? I'm fine, thank you. And you? What are you doing today in your diary? Nothing. <laughs> ah! What kind of a president is this one who's not working? Nothing. I just go to school. You just go to school. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot, ma. <laughs> you see that? Okay, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> no, but we had to. It was going to be bad. And that's the way.
Well, we're already getting responses. People loved the melodic sounds coming out of the Draken Boy, Draken. The Drakensberg Boys High, uh, giving an honor there to former president uh, Tabombeki on the occasion of him turning 80, the octogenarian.